All right, let's do this problem. So I'm gonna move this over to the right side. I get square root of three X plus one is equal to two plus square root of X minus one. Square both sides, so I end up with three X plus one is equal to four plus four root X minus one and then plus X minus one. Move these over to the left side, and along with this, so I end up with 2x, so it's plus 1 minus, so plus 1 minus 4 plus 1, 2, so it becomes 2x minus 2 is equal to 4 root x minus 1. Square both sides again. Actually, you know what? I, before I do that, I can cancel out the two. Um, so this, no, sorry. This is x minus 1. So I get x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 4 quantity x minus 1. x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 4x minus 4. Uh, minus 4x plus 4, so minus 4x plus 4. So I get um, x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. So this breaks down to x minus 5. x minus 1 equals 0. x is equal to 1, 5, but let's check. So 1, 5, so 5, so that's 15, 16, so that's 4 minus 2. Um, square root of, so it ends up being 4 minus 2, which is, excuse me, 4 minus 2 does equal 2. So 1 do, or 5 does work. What about 1? So 1, so 2 minus 0, or 4, square root of 4 is 2 minus square root of 0, 0, so it's just 2. So um, x equals one and five is a solution. All right, that's it.